Here's just a very quick tutorial about using GNUplot uh, to plot more than one vector valued function at a time. Uh, if you didn't see my uh, tutorial for GNUplot, please see the other video about that. We're just going to dive into the commands. So basically, I type in uh, set parametric, press enter, and you'll see it says dummy variable is T for curves, U or V for surfaces. Uh, since we're going to be doing three-dimensional plots, we're going to be using U, uh, not V just yet. We're just going to be using U. Don't use T. So what do we do? We just type SPLOT. That's for three-dimensional plots. And say we want to plot um, cosine U, sine U, and U. Uh, we press Enter. And then we get that plot. I'm just going to move this uh, into our field of vision so we can see it. And I'll make it a little bit larger. And there you can see it, and I can click and drag. If I press the G button, that provides a grid. If I press it again, the grid disappears. If I press the B button, that provides a bounding box. And if I press B again, the bounding box disappears. And I press it a third time, it brings us back to normal. Um, let's see. Let's label our axes first. So set X label X, Y label Y, Z label Z, and replot. And now we have X, Y, and Z axes nicely labeled. So let's do more than one plot. Let's um, press the up key so we don't have to retype it. And then let's try, say, u, cosine of u, sine of u. Now notice that in red I have cosine u, sine u, and u. In green I have u, cosine u, and sine u. And they're both on the same axes, and you can see that they uh, look pretty nifty, actually, I think. Um, that's pretty much what you do. You have to be careful uh, to do everything in, in threes, so if we go to that above line, and now we want to press, now we want to do, like, say, uh, exp to the negative u times cosine u, and then exp, that's e to the x, negative u uh, times sine u, and then u that will give us three plots and it tries to fit everything on the plot so it kind of distorts things and you can change that around uh, by doing set x limits, set y limits and so on uh, which I did in the previous video but that's how you would plot more than one at a time. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and hope you're having a great day.